Colored beads. 25 colored beads are to be arranged in a grid comprising 5 rows and 5 columns. So 5 by 5, 25 grids. Each cell in the grid must contain exactly one bead, reasonable. Each bead is colored either red, blue or green. While arranging the beads along, beads along any of the 5 rows or along any of the 5 columns, the rules given below are to be followed. And so 5 by 5, 25, red, blue, green. Let's look at the rules. Two adjacent beads along the same row or column are always of different colors. We cannot have a green and green and a blue and blue next to each other. There's at least one green bead between any two blue beads along the same row or column. At least one green. If there are two blue, there has to be one green in between any row or column. There's at least one blue and at least one green between any two red beads along the same row or column. So red is there and you should have blue and green in between. At least one of each. Every unique complete arrangement of 25 beads is called a configuration. This is just terminology. There's nothing here. These three are important. No, no two adjacent. We have to have, if we have two blues, there has to be a green in between, at least one green. If you have two reds, there's be at least one blue and at least one green in between. Let's see, I think there may be some more constraints. No, no, there are no other constraints. And so this is not something where we can fill the grid and answer the questions. We'll have to say, hey, we have this framework, just to go after this one more time, adjacent beads along the same row or same column, different colors always. We have, uh, if you have two blues, at least one green in between. If you have two reds in a row or a column, then at least one green, at least one blue in between. Each thing is called a configuration. We're looking at a five by five here where we probably fill red, blue, green, red. This can't be green, blue. This can't be blue, can't be red, green, and so on. We fill something out like this. Right? And each time we get a successful uh, fill, we call it a configuration. Lovely. Let's go to the next one. Questions now, straight away. The total number of possible configuration using beads of only two colors. Only two colors. Right? So, if only two colors. Let's think about this. You have two reds. There has to be a blue and a green in between. Right? So, if you have a blue and a green in between, so if you put red in, you can either put only one red in any row, any column. Or if you put two reds, you have blue and green coming in. And we cannot have a scenario where we have only red and green or only red and blue. Impossible. Because if you have only red and green, then reds, there are never two reds in the same row or same column, which is impossible. And we can squeeze in maybe seven or eight. The remaining cannot be greens. So red is out. This simplifies the question. So the only two colors that can come in are blue and green. So what could it be? Every adjacent one should be different. So if this is blue, everything else writes itself. This has to be green, this has to be green, this has to be blue, this has to be blue, this has to be green, green, blue. It's just alternate. Nothing else. Nothing else is possible. There are only two colors. Adjacent one should not be there. We'll have blue, green, 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 blue, and so on. Or there'll be 13 blues and 12 greens. This will be blue, this will be blue, 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 or the other way around. So we'll have either 13 and 12 or 12 and 13, blues and green to satisfy all criteria. Because the only other criteria is blue, green, blue. If you have two blues in a row, there has to be at least one green in between. Yeah. This always happen. So whichever combination we choose between these two, this condition will always be satisfied. This one we don't need to worry. Or there are two configurations possible. Starting with one with blues on the corners, other one with greens on the corners. 13 blues and 12 greens, or 13 greens and 12 blues. I, just look like, I, I was initially stumped by this. It looked like a very difficult question because there's nothing given. I like the ones where you take a bunch of constraints, fill in criteria, fill the data set in, and then you answer question. It's not like that. We just given a framework and then we have to work along that. But the first question, reasonable. Let's go to the next one. What is the maximum possible number of red beads that can appear in any configuration? So if you have maximum possible number of red beads, then we'll have two in a row or two in a column. That much we should be sure about. If you have a red and then another red with a blue green coming in between, there should be at least two cells in between. So in any row, if you have two reds, it should be either first and fifth or first and fourth or second and fifth. It's the only possibility because we have two gaps in between. And so what do we do? We'll say one, leave all this, go for the fifth one, 
then we can't have anything here and here one leave all this go for the fifth one and put an r here put an r here what else is possible if we cannot have an r here because then there'll be no room for blue and green we cannot have an r here no room for blue and green this is one way of filling this in right i'm already sensing that because i put r r and r r here i put it right extreme for the next thing i'll have to squeeze in here which is not possible or i would rather go for slot 1 and slot 4 in a row rather than 1 and 5 in a row 1 and 4 2 and 5 at the you're not losing out on that space in between 1 and 4 2 and 5 and i think we can squeeze in more so what do we do put r here r here okay and r here r here and r here r here r here r here lovely so that way we can squeeze rows and column we can squeeze out two rows and two columns what have we not hit so far this row and this column in this row we cannot have one here 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 or here only here is possible this column we cannot have here 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 or here only here is possible here we can have one more then one row which happens to be one column also one row and one column where there is only one r placed where there is a room for placing two and so the if you think about it we can put two rs in a row two rs in a column so maximum we can conceivably think of is 10 so if, if these rows have two each these columns have two each so count like that so that they don't they're not double counting we can accommodate everything and all that but that's simply not possible the moment we put the best case scenario here 1 4 2 5 1 4 2 5 every every row every column is already taken the only not taken ones are these two there we can place only one or the maximum number of reds we can place is 9 and not 10 what is the minimum number of blue beads in any configuration right we need to have blue beads as few as possible that means greens and reds should be higher red and green should be higher now we have red and green higher we know that reds come with a constraint if you have two reds there has to be a blue and green put in between but the greens don't have any constraint so two blues there has to be a green in between and so so we can we can take the red constraint accommodate that amp up the reds put nine reds into the picture and then see if we can max out greens in that framework and then see how many blues we can get and i want to try that so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a red here red here red here red here red 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 put everything in when no we need a uh, wherever we have a between two red we need to have a blue and green accommodated fine let's put a blue here and a green here between these two we could have a blue and a green here there's no blue green requirement because there's only one red between these two we need to have a blue and a green let's see where we can put we can put a blue here and a green here lovely here between these two again a blue here a green here right so this has to be this can easily be a green i want to have as many greens as possible so we put blue green blue green blue green blue green all of that we have accommodated between these two red there's a green there should be a blue between these two red there should be a blue and a green this has to be green this has to be blue wonderful so far uh, between these two there is a blue already so put a green in this is also fine between these two reds we need to get a blue and a green make this green make this blue this this fits everything in we should have now we can count how many this one is free we can put that as a green we want to have as many as many greens as possible so how many blues are there b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 1 2 3 here 4 5 6 7 there so seven blues totally we manage seven because we put in as many r reds as possible between any two reds we need to have a blue and a green we put in the blues inside and then we said look let's accommodate the remaining as blues and amp out greens but the moment i did this i completed this and i said look 
if you put it as many reds as possible. But the moment we have two reds, we have to have a blue and green in between. And so the moment we have blue and green in between like this and like this, we have to accommodate some number of blues. Maybe we are going about just the wrong way. The reds have the condition. So let's put as many greens in as possible. And so right now we have got up to seven blues. Or red and green put together, we have 18 of them. Lovely, out of 25, 18 reds and blues, reds and greens we've got. Nine reds and nine greens we've accommodated. Right? Now, greens alone, we can have 13. So we can flip this question. Let's put 13 greens and then see if we can have a scenario where we can squeeze in six reds. Right? So put all greens here. Green, 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 green. As many greens as possible. We need to accommodate six reds. And so where can we do that? Maybe we can put a, a red and a red here, put a blue in between. A red and a red here, put a blue in between. So that way we'll have four reds coming into the picture. We can have two more reds somewhere. Then we are through. Okay. Red and red. No, we cannot have red and red here. Because if we have red, red here, we'll have a second red here that becomes challenging. So let's flip this. Let's say we put a red here and a red here. And a red here and a red here. So one on the row column, one in the row. This has to be a blue. This has to be a blue. Lovely. So far, so good. The two greens here, this has to be a blue. So far, so good. Now we need to, we have accommodated four reds. We accommodate two more reds and put the rest as blues. We are good. And where can we have two more reds? And so there is nothing in this column. I think in this, this could be a red. Only one red in that place. This could be a blue. No complication. Life is good. We need to squeeze in one more red somewhere, which could be here. Of course, there's nothing in this column. Here we can't put, here we can't put, put red here. Put a blue here and a blue here. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six blues. One, two, three, four, one, two, only six blues. We have done, got up to six blues. I don't think it is possible to get seven reds in after you put 13 greens. So six blues is the best case. We cannot have a scenario with fewer than six blues. Tricky question because from one method we got to seven and then we said, look, let me flip this. We need to max out either reds or greens. We initially thought let's max out reds. And we said, look, greens, we get more of. We can get 13 greens into the system. Let's get that and navigate the rest. So we put the 13 greens in and then we came back to doing this. Lovely. So six blues is a maximum. Now six blues, we need to have minimum six blues. Six blues is the best case scenario. Two red beads have been placed in second row, third column and third row, second column. How many more red beads can be placed so as to maximize the number of red beads? Second row, third column, third row, second column. What can we do straight away? If I have this, let me accommodate this. If I have this, let me accommodate this. The fourth slot, that way I can get two per the row, two for the column. Right? Then what can we do? We have this row, this column entirely free. We cannot have one here. But we can squeeze this and this. And again, here, this is an easy one. This, are, this kind of take automatic. We've already done this red thing once. One five is not the best case scenario. One four is good. One four, one four. First row, fourth row. First column, fourth column, first column, fourth column. All good. This accommodated with this, this accommodated with this. So far, so good. Now let's think about maybe squeezing in one more R. I know we could be more than nine, we cannot do. We've got eight totally so far. One more cannot sit here because there's a blue green that cannot be there. Cannot be here, cannot be here. Only these two rows are open. Think about this row. It's impossible because we put one more R, we need to have a B and a G in between. That's not possible. Here, if you put one more R, we need to have a B and G in between. That's not possible. So the maximum number of reds possible in this configuration is eight. We already have two. How many more red beads can we have? We can have a maximum of six. In this configuration, we can we can accommodate only eight. We cannot accommodate nine. We already have two. Six more can be brought in. 